What I enjoy about the studio tour is having everybody come to the studio. I enjoy when they first walk in the studio, how surprised they are at how finished it is and uh, all the colors and how many looms I have in here. I like to meet the people too and, and explain. By the time the three days is over, I can hardly speak. I've lost my voice, but I love explaining what I do. Uh, part of what I do is to use the Fibonacci sequence and so people wanna know who is Fibonacci, what does that mean? What's it all about? And so I explain that a lot. And I like, I tell them about the fibers that I use, which are cotton, silk, wool. I prefer to use natural color, natural fibers. I feel that if you're going to be using something, and I like my work to be useful, if you're going to be using something, it should be pretty. Why not enjoy what you're touching? If you're gonna be doing the dishes, drying dishes, have something nice to work with. I really enjoy weaving. Uh, uh, I've been doing it since 1983. I don't know why I got started on it. A friend of mine had a loom that was too big for her house and she knew I wanted to learn how to weave and so she offered to bring it over and teach me how. And after that, I bought a loom of my own and I bought another one and it's just kind of gotten out of hand. I have now six looms here in the studio, two more in the house and one in the garage and each one of them has a different project on it. I like to do different things. I love to, um, to dye my own yarn and I dye the yarns, just whatever I want to do. I like to make a rainbow and cross the multicolored yarns with a single colored yarn. And it's like playing with a brand new box of crayons. The towels that I make are heavy cotton. They're 100% cotton, most of them. And when I say multicolored yarns, I like to, uh, I dye the yarns myself uh, in a long sequence of color. And then I try to pick one color that will look good with the what, whatever's on the loom. It's not always easy. Sometimes I have to really think about it. Um, what I have here is, this is the Fibonacci sequence. The numbers are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and then I go back down again. That's the Fibonacci sequence. And they can all look so different, and yet they all started out just on one long warp. Sometimes I also get what I call tracking, what I don't call it, but everybody calls tracking, which is a kind of a diamond sequence. The texture, it looks like texture, but this is plain weave over and under one thread at a time. And yet um, you see an actual diamond or a herringbone pattern in the, in the texture of the fabric. And I don't put that there. It doesn't happen. I can't control it. It just happens when I, the, after washing. This is the loom I use most of the time for towels. I leave it set up because I don't like to thread the loom. Threading the loom is probably the most tedious part of the job that I do. Um, and here I do have it set up in the Fibonacci sequence, the towels that I was showing you earlier. I like the rhythmic uh, portion of this. I don't know why, way back as a kid, I, I liked doing things that were repetitious, that had rhythm to them. And I can get going pretty fast if I'm not doing anything else. I can just keep going and I like the rhythm. You do the best, um, your selvages, the edges of the fabric will be the best if you don't mess with them, if, they, if you just keep a good rhythm going. So here I have a shuttle. This is my favorite wooden shuttle and a bobbin inside and the, wound, the uh, yarn is just wound on the bobbin. And as I throw the shuttle, the, bob, the yarn just comes off the, shut up, off the bobbin. And then I beat it into place. And the fun part for me is watching the color as it changes. As I said before, I have to choose one color that will go with all the colors that are showing on the loom. And I can only see how much of the warp is going from the front to the back. There's a lot more rolled up on the back, but I can only see one portion of it. My husband and I moved to Three Rivers in 1980. Both of us wanted to get out of the city. We wanted to live in the country. He has a family home up in Big Bear, so he was used to getting out in the country, and I grew up in small towns in the Midwest, and one time we were coming through this area, and he said, I have family in Three River, let's go visit there. So we came by, and we spent the night at his cousin's house right on the river, and I could hear the river outside the window, and I said, oh, I could live here. And he said, really? I've always liked Three Rivers. So we sort of decided right then that, that we would make Three Rivers our destination, our goal. And now I have my own studio, I'm retired, and I have nine looms, so... It's, well, it's a joy to get up in the morning and come out here to the studio and just do whatever I want. Uh, I have different projects going all the time. So, and I'm always thinking of something new. When I'm sitting at the loom, the, the shelves are open with uh, 
lots of colored yarns. And so I sit here, as I'm weaving along, I start thinking about the next project I wanna create. So I jump up from the loom and start pulling down yarns and putting groups together, group, groupings of color, and go on to the next project. And we love to sit out on the deck and enjoy the river. I just love it here.